after playing this for the last four and a half hours, I now must return to a simpler time without my upgraded stamina wheel. And without it, I would say that I have nothing more to live for! Ahem, <clears throat> anyway, thank you for getting me me ship back, Vroom. It may have been half wrecked. <laughs> Understatement of the year. <laughs> <laughs> but my crew and I got it shaped up to almost proper work in order in no time, Vert. Uh, if that's the case, that's rather impressive because having been there in the center of all the action, I would say it was quite more than 50% wrecked in our battle with Tenelus. <laughs> I wish you good luck in finding whomever it is you're looking for. Weep. Come visit again. You're welcome anytime. Weep. Hey, everybody. It's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Last time, we battled Tenelis aboard Sandship, or at least what's left of it. Never mind, I guess those robots really don't mess around. And we obtained Nehru's flame. We forged our blade in it, making it white now. Not only that, but we unlock the ability to douse for twice as many objects at a time as we could before. Just what I always wanted, you know? Not giving me a second stamina wheel, did I mention that? Anyway. This time, we are bound for the Isle of Songs once more to find our next destination on our quest to make our blade even stronger. There is only one of the three main regions that we have yet to revisit. I'm pretty sure you know where we're going, but if you don't, I won't spoil the surprise. Before we go, however, a lot has changed around the Sand Sea. There are quite a lot of things that we can go do now, things that you might have skipped over or not known about, and first of them, I want to go over to Lanayru Caves. For now that we've met Golo the Goron, if we sit on this stool of all things... Ooh. So, you would not happen to be interested in excavating, would you? You are? Well then, you are going to love this! The thing is, these research digs can get really expensive. You see, I have to be sure to pay myself a comfortable salary. Um, guys gotta eat lots of boxes of donuts while doing construction digs. And not only that, but these pickaxes, they may not look like it, but they sure ain't cheap. I'm gonna need at least 10 rupees to complete this project. We'll give them to them, because it is a general rule in video games that anytime there's a mining operation that you can invest in in an earlier chapter, it's gonna pay off big dividends in a later chapter. Technically, we could have done this sooner, but I just decided to go do this now. Um, you have certainly proved your passion for digging, my good friend. I will make sure these funds are put to good use, and I appreciate your patience. Next, we'll go back outside and set sail for the sands of time once again. Back in time-shifting Sandland, we want to talk to the Skipper. Uh, as I said before, he will allow you to fast travel... Not to anywhere you want, but he'll allow you to fast travel to the sand ship. All the other locations in the sand sea have a bird statue that you can skydive to, whereas in this case, you just skydive to this area and you talk to him and he'll let you go there right away so you can quickly get around. For if you go back to the sand ship, he said that you are welcome back anytime. It doesn't look too special right now. At the very least, you do have Nehru's flame up there on the upper deck. But if we take our bow and travel back in time once more, This place is now crawling with these little guys. Once we're all ready, our ship will set sail on this glorious sea once again. Fweep. If you piece everything together, we have traveled back in time, Stop Tenelis from completely destroying the ship, and these guys live to see another day. We have changed history. Thanks for getting my ship back, Vroom. As such, this place is basically its own town now. You never have any reason to go back here for any story purposes, and you could very easily not know that this is here. I'd call this a little detail, but no, it's quite a lot of trouble they really didn't have to go to. And I want to give it the time that it deserves. How about we head into the captain's quarters and see what the robots in there have to say? We're getting ready for our next voyage. Weep. Cap'n is working us so hard, I think my gears are grinding for him. We're so proud of our Cap'n, Vweep. There's nothing we wouldn't do for him, Vroom. So already we hear that they're getting to go on another voyage that they originally didn't in the course that history took the first time round. Standing here on the bow brings back so many memory functions, Vweep. Some good, some bad, but such is the life of a sailor, Zert. 
Nothing is finer than sailing the high seas. Fweep! Are you coming with us, Vroom? The goddess walls have replenished themselves, and there's no sort of threat of any enemies that you'd have to fight your way through to get back to them, so this is a very good spot to get whatever it is you want. I think I'm gonna personally take a ferry, though. There were more crew members originally, but after our ship was taken, many of them decided to pursue other functions, Vroom. This next journey across the seas is a mission to reunite with our missing crew members. Fweep. This is the engine room, Berzert. We're getting ready for a long journey, Vweep. Try not to get crushed in here, Vroom. Our precious treasure is gone, Berzert. Who stole it, Vroom? Hmm, I wonder. I also wonder if that's different if you didn't take these five chests. Ah, uh, we can never explore what that room looks like normally. This control room transmits the power of the time shift stones to the engine room, Zert. No one unauthorized entry. Well, excuse me, all I did was change history to make it so you don't die. I'm sorry. Also, this wall reminds me of Wash Rotom. And now for the very last little bit of the ship. If we go to the brig, I think you'll appreciate this. It's full of techno blitz. They're just all standing in there. Just kind of staring at each other, being like, how did we get into this predicament? They're just all in jail. But what no one told them is that they're actually on death row! Uh, wait. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, man. Karma came through. <laughs> well, um... Hey, little buddy, you can break up this jail fight by yourself, right? <laughs> and these guys, these guys will get what's coming to them later, don't you worry. For oh, okay, never mind, they were on death row anyway, so um, I guess I just kind of made the process a little bit easier for them, but <laughs> man, that was some hardcore karma, having one of them spawn a collectible that I could never pick up. I don't think there's anything in this last treasure room. No, there's not, but... This is just kind of a nice little thing. I love it whenever areas change a lot after you've cleared them, just to show how much of a difference that you've made. And with the way that this is, it's a, done in a way that you could very easily have not ever known about, even if you were trying to get all collectibles and stuff like that. It's nice. Let's go above deck once more. That is all. Into the sky with us. Here we are once again. We have, yes, actually, a few goddess cube chests that have opened up to us. Or is it just one? I swore we had two. I think there was one in Skipper's Retreat. Oh, this might be the one. Okay, well, first off, we are at least gonna go and check on the one that we know is over here. And luckily there is a conveniently placed ring for us to fly through. Kind of makes sense though how it's like, the wind hitting this rock, how it would kind of go inward. It's kind of like whenever there's tall buildings, how the wind blows really hard between them. I think I've made this analogy before, but it's just kind of what I always think of right there. Even though there is a glowing, swirling ring of vortexness that shows you that it's going to make you go faster, that's kind of how I always imagined it. Just about there, anytime you want to arrive. Okay, this flight was relatively on time for its standards. Now that we have the claw shots, I guess there's not really any now that we have the claw shots about this because we couldn't get this before. We drop down. Potion metal, carry this with you to prolong the effects of a potion. If you remember this, remember to pack lots of potions. Oh. This is immensely helpful to something in the future. Remember that you have this. It doesn't sound too terribly great, but trust me on this. There is one instance where you will definitely want to have this. Even if you're not going out for all goddess cube chests and just all medals and stuff like that in general, I still highly recommend that you pick this one up. Next off, Erpona, away to the Thunderhead we ride. And your wing had not replenished after all of that time. You know, I'm sorry, Erpona. I know that you're like a rare, majestic Crimson Loftwing that was long thought to have disappeared from the bloodline and all that crap. The more that I see you fly, just the more 
pitiful you seem. I'm sorry. Like, I've said before that I was a little bit disappointed that flying through the air wasn't nearly as cool and as fast as I thought it would be, though, but it's just kind of sad that getting off of you for that amount of time doesn't just automatically replenish all of your wings. I guess I kind of get why they don't want you chaining it together, because maybe you could hop off your bird and then immediately call it again, though, but still, like, we were off you for a good long while there, and apparently it still wasn't good enough for you. And now that we've entered the swirling vortex of terror, we are once again going to ignore the oh-so-eye-catching Rainbow Island that everybody keeps asking me about. I'm sorry, okay? This is a 100% run. We will be going there eventually, but much like Beetle's bed that everyone said that they wanted me to go into, I'm kind of saving it for when it's important, okay? So, um, perhaps there's your incentive to get this game and play it for yourself, because I always encourage that you do that. I never want to be a replacement for playing the game. I always want to encourage people to play it themselves, and wow, that guy, um... I guess that guy really had nothing more to live for. I'm sorry, buddy, though, but wow. <laughs> that was... He just kind of flew into view and collided his anus with our beak immediately. I can't believe I just said those words. Master Link, I have important information. When you struck the crest with a skyward strike from your sword, a message from the goddess awakened deep within my memory. The goddess intended this message for you, Master. These are her words. He who seeks the sacred flames, listen well, for I am the one guiding you from my place at the edge of time. The last of the sacred flames still eludes you. To obtain it, you must claim yet another sacred gift. For each trial you overcome, you shall be blessed with another gift. Make use of the power of these gifts, and you will most certainly find the path to the sacred flames. Now I bestow unto you another melody. Let it serve as a key to unlocking your final trial. It awaits you upon Elden Volcano. According to my records, that song you just heard is called Din's Power. Use the Song of Might to locate the last trial. Wasn't that a great harp song, guys? I think I heard it in there for exactly two strums toward the end. I have committed Din's Power to my memory. Now you have the ability to use Dowsing to locate the gate to the final trial. I suggest you travel to Elden Volcano. And this is it. Our next objective is our final trial. And once again, for some reason, they want us to douse for it in here to tell us the oh-so-important information that it is outside. Don't want to talk to the bird statue! Okay, that's a thing that happens every now and again. Whenever you have to hold up to go through a door and then you gotta press down on the other side of it, but you're still holding up from the previous room, so you go back inside. 
that's a persisting problem with, I think, at least every game at some point. But we have journeyed through Lanayru Sansi once again, seen much of what we have done for the robots there. We've come to the Isle of Songs, and we found out what our next objective is. Next time on The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, we depart for Skyloft once again to make preparations for the road ahead. See you guys then. Though we were able to reunite him with his crew, there was one thing nobody could do. Dear Dad, good luck at work. Vroom.